The First Vatican Council defined that the Pope is infallible when he speaks ex cathedra, that is, from the chair of Peter, the chair of truth. But how often and under what conditions does he teach infallibly? Two errors are to be avoided. Creeping infallibilization, where almost every utterance of the Pope is regarded as being infallible, and a minimalism so restrictive that it renders the dogma meaningless. These opposite tendencies seem to be almost equally widespread among Catholics. Many say the Pope has spoken infallibly only twice, on the Immaculate Conception and the Assumption of Mary. But many also say, indeed often the same people, that no Pope could possibly teach anything false in any of his official teaching on faith or morals. Both of these views are false. The truth lies in between. Dr. John Joy, an expert on the history and the theology of the Magisterium, has chosen the format of the disputed question. Think of St. Thomas's Summa. In an effort to bring greater clarity to a topic that is often badly misunderstood. Joy looks first at the extension and limits of papal infallibility in general. He then examines 11 particular cases of papal teaching, ranging from the Middle Ages to the present, and proves that popes have taught infallibly much more often than is typically assumed. At the same time, he points out the categorical difference between such teaching and the vastly more common non-infallible teaching that, as the very term indicates, can in rare cases be erroneous and not deserving of assent. Following the questions, essays in the book develop key points, including what we are to make of Pope Francis's change to the catechism on the death penalty. This succinct study brilliantly clarifies some of the most controversial and confusing questions in Catholic ecclesiology.